Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, answering a question submitted by a student. This has to do with a graphing problem, um, and uh, we they want us to uh, graph this function, the cube root of x minus 4. They want us to do that by plotting points. Um, there are better ways to do it by hand, and of course this could be done on a calculator, graphing calculator. But uh, we're going to go ahead and use the plotting point method. Um, typically, what I would do is memorize the parent function, which is the cube root function, and then shift it to the right four units. Um, this may be a little beyond where the class is right now. So we're going to just stick with where the student is right now, which is uh, plotting points. Uh, but we want to pick points that are going to come out nicely. Uh, and so I'm going to show you how to do this. And because this is a cube root, what we want underneath the radical here, we want something that's a perfect cube, like 8, for example. The cube root of 8 is 2. So we need to think about some perfect cubes and then kind of work backwards. So how you might come up with a perfect cube is you might consider negative 2 cubed, negative 1 cubed, 0 cubed, which is what they're suggesting you start with in the, uh, in the problem here. You see the 0. See, to solve this, you would cube both sides. And then 1 cubed and 2 cubed. So let's fill this. Let's fill in this table. We're going to make this a table now. And so now we're going to get a perfect cube. We're going to have a list of the perfect cubes. So let's start listing them out. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. 0 cubed is 0. 1 cubed is 1. 2 cubed is 8. So those are the perfect cubes that we're going to use. But what we need to find is uh, x values. So the way to get the x value is we're just going to take x minus 4, the thing that's under the radical. We need that to be equal to negative 8. And so this is going to give us an x value of uh, negative 4. I think you can see how we're doing that, right? So here, x minus 4 equals negative 1, because you want what's under the radical to equal a perfect cube. So you solve for that, and you get 3. That looks a little like a 7. I'll just fix I'm that. OK, hold on a second. Just turn, off, turn off my phone for a second. Sorry about that. And then x minus 4 equals 0. So x equals 4. And then x minus 4 equals 1. So that would give us a 5. And then x minus 4 equals 3. And that's going to give us, oops, sorry. I don't know why I did that. 2 cubed is 8, of course. So x minus 4 is equal to 8. And so x is equal to 12 here. So in order to plot, of course, we need x values and y values. So let's stick in some y values now. And then we'll have our x, y values, which is all we need to do to do our plot. So when x is negative 4, you're taking the square root of negative 8, 
which is negative 2. And when x is 3, you're taking the square root of negative 1. Uh, the, sorry, the cube root of negative 1. Just negative 1. And f when x is 4, you're taking the cube root of 0, which is 0. You're taking the cube root here of 1, which is 1. And here again, cube root of 2, of 8 rather, which is going to be 2. Okay, so hopefully you can, can see where all this is coming from. And now we'll plot this. Uh, we've got, for x values here, the smallest one we have is negative 4. So we'll make that 4 here. And then roughly the same distance on this side will be positive 4. And we need a 3 on our x values and a 5 and a 12 out here. Okay, so we'll fill in the y values now. So negative 4 is going to give us negative 2. Uh, 3 is going to give us negative 1. So we're maybe here. 4 is going to give us 0. So we're crossing the x-axis here. 5 is going to give us a positive 1. So it'll be here. 12 is going to give us a positive 2. So approximately like that. And we can fill in the curve. And it's going to look kind of like a snake on its, on its side sideways snake you're gonna it's gonna come in like this and then it kind of does a little u u shape here and like that and that's our curve cube root. Okay, thank you. X Bye. minus 4. And that's it. That's our graph. So the hard part here really is just figuring out what you can use for x values that are give, give us convenient y values. And basically the way we found the convenient y values was we took perfect cubes, we made a list of perfect cubes, and that's what guided us. The reason I used perfect cubes was because we're using, a, we're trying to graph a cube root function. So there are much more sophisticated ways to approach this, um, and you'll be learning those ways later. Uh, this is, you know, the least sophisticated way, but at least now you have a system that you can follow or some logic that you can follow that will guide you in uh, finding convenient points, x, x, y values. So I hope that helps you. And that's it for this problem. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.